What is going on people? So we got a new update for Epic 7 and with this update we have a new hero called Bel Belnella Belanella and uh, she is like an AoE character very good against multiple enemies at a time she looks uh, kind of like somebody that would be very mean she is uh, I guess some kind of royalty and she looks like it so see what it says here Bellanelle is the earth element ranger who is capable of attacking multiple enemies at once using the skill Razor Wind Fan, Bellinella is able to attack all enemies with a chance to decrease their defense for two turns. After Bellinella has acquired 5 focus, she is able to automatically trigger Razor Wind Fan by attacking with Razor Break Fan. Her second skill, Butterfly Fan, attacks all enemies. The skill increases its damage output based on the number of enemies, with more enemies providing a higher damage output. Once awakened, the skill will Grant the caster immunity for one turn, which allows Bellinella to overcome enemies that give debuffs. The skill Windbreak Fan deals damage proportional to enemies' health, which will allow Bellinella to be extra effective against high HP enemies such as boss monsters. Bellinella can use Razor Fan early on. She can decrease the enemy's defense and cause the enemy massive damage. Equip her with speed and attack gear in order to make Bellinella as effective as possible. So we got our first move here. So focus acquired as one. Attacks enemy with a fan dealing damage proportional to enemy's max health. If the caster's stacked focus is more than five, loses all focus and activates Razor Wind Fan. Here we have Butterfly Fan. Active cooldown three. Acquired focus one. Before awakening, attacks all enemies by waving a fan. Damage dealt increases with more enemies. After you awaken it, grants the caster Im Im immunity. And then the razor fan thing we got going on here is activate cooldown 6. Focus acquired 3. Attacks all enemies by creating a powerful gust of wind with a 65% chance to decrease defense for 2 turns. Effect chance increases by 20% when razor fan. When a Razor Wind fan is triggered by Windbreak, so you end up getting a 85% chance to get that defense down. Seems like a pretty good farmer character, and I, the fact that she throws on those uh, defense downs are really nice. So she's got quite a few usefuls. We also got a new artifact, Iron Fan. Equip this Ranger exclusive artifact and deal greater damage to Ice Elemental enemies. So damage dealt increased by 16% when attacking an ice elemental target. Max level 32%. So that's pretty nuts if you're going against that specific type of monster. So you're going to be able to pull this artifact and her within her banner here. Belnell is an earth arm. She's just a right up banner. Doesn't say that she's exclusive so... Or a limited time only. It's going to be available from 1 9 to 1 23. She's going to have her own uh, side story here where we get to hear and, li and read about her, her story and past, so that's pretty nice. I really like the side stories in this game. You participate that through the same way you always do. You need a count rank 9, go to lobby, go to tab, battle, side story. Play through side stories to collect event currency, loss, accessories. Exchange them for great rewards. And these are the characters that I guess have... She's also a phantom um, character, so I, that's why you see these phantoms here. Are getting boosts. And let's look at what we got going on here. Got some Dragon's Wrath, some Cursed Ashes, some Slime Jelly, Moagora Seeds, only one of them. Some bookmarks, end up with 15 bookmarks from here. The reputation we get, 10, 10 more bookmarks. 
three silver transmute stones. So you end up getting five of those. Come here. Alright, so we got uh, this new function here. Artifact selling and limit break improvements. And these, this is actually pretty cool. When selling artifacts of three stars or higher, player will obtain the new resource Powder of Knowledge, which can be exchanged in a shop for a new five star limit breaker bottle of knowledge and vary a variety of other artifacts. New resource Powder of Knowledge. Players can now obtain a new resource called Power of Knowledge when selling artifacts three or more. Artifacts obtained from side sword and challenges as well as charms will not issue the pow Power of Knowledge. So that is an example of like uh, the small miracles artifact. You won't be able to get rid of that. And here you'll be, you can see that this is what it looks like in your inventory. Alright, so it also has put into account that you might have already limit broken some of your uh, three stars that you might not actually want. Like I have earlier today, I actually upgraded, uh, limit broke a lot of three stars I didn't want anymore. But I wouldn't have used them, but since there was nothing else to do with them, I limit broke them right now. This is showing you that if you have limit broke them zero times and you have uh, three stars, you only get one of these if you've done it twice. If you have one limit break, it's two, two times, three, all the way up to six. And it's this is how it is if you want to know that. Artifacts that do not provide knowledge artifacts have obtained. This is, like I said, the card of small miracles and these other ones. Power, powder of Knowledge Shop. A new section of the shop has opened for players to spend the knowledge on. And here you can see how much it costs here. Bottle of Knowledge is available one time per account. So this is a artifact that you can only get through here. Costs a lot of these things here. But you can also see right below here is 180 and you can get this Durandal. And that's a pretty nice uh, artifact there. So... These are, this is pretty cool. The Powder of Knowledge Shop exclusive item Bottle of Knowledge as well as different 4 or 5 star artifacts can be purchased here. Available items will change every 4 weeks. So here we have it showing you that there's 5 star Durandal, 5 star Holy Sacrifice, 5 star Bloodstone, Hellcutter, all these things. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. If you wanted one of those you can now save up and grab try to grab it and here we can look at the new artifact here a new item for lemon breaking artifacts have been added when using this item to enhance a five star artifact the artifacts max level will increase and that is the bottle of knowledge here when using artifacts that have already been limit broken to enhance the carpet the same Artifact the limit breaks of the fodder artifact will be applied to the artifact being enhanced. Example, you have two copies of Egg of Delusion. A copy A has been limit broken zero times and a copy B has been limit broken two times. When copy B is used to enhance copy A, copy A will have a total of three breaks. So this is really nice. So you know how I have to worry about uh, trying to find the correct one. You can just go in there and get whichever one that pops up first. Ray Lab Labyrinth improvements and bug fixes, fixes. Item drop rates have been improved. Better rewards are now obtainable in the Ray Labyrinth. Drop rates of the items have been improved. Drop rates of each box exclusive epic equipment has been increased by 20%. Non-exclusive normal Labyrinth equipment rare and hero grade will no longer drop after defeating a boss. Instead the original Labyrinth equipment players now have a chance to receive one coronation souvenir. Hell difficulty. Greater Labyrinth Weapons Helms boots will no longer drop after defeating a boss. Now only necklaces and rings will drop. General, when defeating a monster, either difficulty, all items now display as sap covered item. It, except for ancient coins, gold, and raid labyrinth exclusive resources. The items contained in sap covered items will be revealed upon viewing the results screen after leaving through the portal. I wonder if they did that so people couldn't go in there and like try to, if they didn't get what they want, just yield and try to do it again. Try to farm something good that way. This is just uh, shops that they're showing you. 
they have some new equipment here each piece of equipment set options are fixed so this is what they're gonna look like and then you can improve them and they'll get randomly better so we have the unity set increases chance of triggering dual attacks by 4% I really like unity attacks in this game I'm not sure if 4% chance uh, improvement is that great but uh, yeah and then we have this rage set damage dealt increased by 30% when attacking debuff targets now I think this is a pretty crazy set right here so I'm, I'm really liking these two sets monsters bugs and monsters have been fir fixed and certain monsters stats have been nerfed the health of Azrael hunters that appear before the boss in the first area have been reduced by 20% hell difficulty skill descriptions have been matched to what they actually do before this says increases combat readiness of one random ally by 30% and now it says instantly dispelled increases by 30% so it dispels and doesn't actually steal so basically what changed miscellaneous in order to help guide newcomers players may now access only one area of the royal uh, dungeon the first time they enter normal mode other areas are unlocked immediately upon defeating the area one boss hero close-up function so now this zoom buttons gonna work and you'll be able to zoom in on your characters I'm sure most people are gonna be zooming in on their waifus and looking at them other improvements and bug fixes summon and summon tickets Kais and uh, the artifact Alexander's basket has been added to the convenient summon and are now available from applicable summon tickets heroes the skill description of Karen's blade art flash has been updated to include information about the decreased defense debuff the Viger buff that Ken Phoenix Fury just got can now no longer be dispelled this is a very good change because already yeah I have seen this be dispelled in the new event that Cerulea is on she will actually steal your Viger buff and then Ken will not have it anymore it really screws him over the skill description of Ken's celestial kick has been updated to clarify since increased speed buff expires at the end of turn and the effect of the skill wins resolved no longer carry over onto the next turn Issue has been fixed with Silk Storm Arrow, did not activate properly at times during auto battle. Issue has been fixed in which after dying, Diane's effects sometimes carried over to the next battle into the hunt. Strength of the bear given to random heroes by shooting star. Resurrection magic has been doubled. Hunt in the past, Kelowna and Sylvia has, that appeared in the boss golem hunt were not affected by science or provoked because they only possess one skill in order to make more sense out of this occurrence and add a skill will of nature has been added so that's pretty cool because sometimes you do things and don't know why it's not working labyrinth the nixon scorches zone 3 serato is now affected by poison debuffs no longer receives a barrier when counterattacked mm -hmm. abyss floor 68 Surprise attack no longer increases combat radius of all monsters. On floor 71, boss skill set has been updated to match that of the hero Armin. So that's cool. And apparently when you used to battle, if your hero leveled up, they wouldn't actually get all their stats. They would just get fully healed. And now that is no longer the case, they will actually get all their stats. Issue has been fixed in which boss monster's stun immunity was dispelled after one turn in adventure and side stories. Did not was not aware of that. This could be important to some people. Arena end date season one now displays. Season one ends on 220 Wednesday. So please note that season one exclusive items that were available to purchase of Concon points will no longer be available there. And that is um if you go and tear the shop. the global right now is having some weird connection issues so I'm actually farming these conquest points with my uh, stuff so I can try to get this gear 
Because my gear is kind of crap. What do you think? Go here to Conquest, and here you can see the Season 1 Gladiator weapons and armor. That is Season 1. I got these two. They're level 67. They're pretty good, so if you are kind of like a new and weak like me, getting these, probably a good idea. Skill preview. The Viger icon and description has been added to the help. Special seasonal background music that could be heard in the lobby has returned to the original background music. An issue has been fixed in which incorrect background music played during certain Players no longer be logged out from other devices. This is the same thing that happened last week. So anyways, this is the end of this patch notes. Uh, if you have any questions or want, want to hang out, you can message me on the YouTube. See you later. Bellona is the daughter of a noble Ezran family. She ran away from home after refusing to be forced into an arranged marriage. After joining the Phantom CIC, she appears to be much more satisfied with her life. She can fight as many strong enemies as she likes to hone her skills. With Razorwind Fan, the player can attack all enemies and decrease their defense. Butterfly Fan becomes more effective with more enemies, as its damage dealt increases as the number of enemies increase. Also, players can prepare for the enemy's debuff attack with immunity. With Razorwind Fan, the player can attack all enemies and decrease their defense. Butterfly Fan becomes more effective with more enemies, as its damage dealt increases as the number of enemies increase. Also, players can prepare for the enemy's debuff attack with immunity.